Okay, welcome back. Cosa 30 folks, Professor Almeida here. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm recording this announcement video early because my weekend is just going to be packed. And, you know, sometimes it's a balancing act, uh, at least for me between being a professor and a parent i'm sure you can relate wherever you are whether it's balancing between being a parent your profession and taking classes like this one and so it's especially important that you manage your time and that you also make the time for your classes like this one especially since this is an accelerated coast 30 class you know i've been saying it uh quite a bit now that we are taking 16 weeks worth of coast of 30 and compressing it into 12 weeks and you got to be sure that you are able to keep up with the pacing all right so with that said hopefully you've been working on your week three level one word and powerpoint assignments right don't leave things for the last minute because as you will see for week four we will be wrapping up level one of the ic3 material and so let's get into canvas here and i'll tell you all about what's going on for week four all right so here we are in canvas and there is only one assignment for week four and that is your ic3 level one g metrics results now what is g metrics let's take a look at the overview page here now i've included a video on what g metrics is and how to use it if you take a look at the home page of our class site you will see the access code you need to redeem for g metrics now once you've watched the video on how to use it i recommend taking any of your ic3 level one exams in training mode okay you want to start in training mode that way you get a feel for the exam you can answer the questions and understand why the correct answers are correct but more importantly why the wrong answers are wrong and you'll be able to take notes along the way okay you could take these g metrics exams as many times as you want and once you have a good feel for a particular ic3 level one exam you can then attempt testing mode now what testing mode does it adds a 50 minute timer and it's just like the actual ic3 exam it's going to be the same exam by the way uh only difference between training and testing is uh the presence of a timer and obviously in testing mode you don't get hints okay so what you're going to do for this ic3 level one assignment you're going to take any of the ic3 level one exams okay let me be more specific ic3 gs6 okay make sure it's gs6 right your ic3 gs6 level one exams take any of them in testing mode and you're going to post up the results in the assignment now again if you watch the video on how to use gmetrics you'll see uh how to uh, print to a pdf and then you'll post it into canvas so make sure that you take a look at the assignment instructions uh, let me uh, switch back to canvas here so you can see so again here is the g metrics assignment so again make sure that you read the instructions carefully and you're going to see a red start assignment button okay you don't see it here because i'm essentially in god mode but make sure you read through the instructions uh, I've given you a sample PDF so you have an idea of what it looks like and then here's some instructions on how to print to PDF now if you are interested in going for the IC3 I'm going to add some additional details look for that when I go to post this video in canvas okay uh, you could take the IC3 in person at the COS computer labs both at LAC and PCC you might be asked to show your G metrics results, so just be ready for that. But again, this is for IC3 level one, and I'll provide details on how you can go for the actual exam, okay? That way you can also walk away from this class with more than just a grade. And that's really it, right? You just have the IC3 level one G metrics results assignment. One optional item I have for you here is a feedback forum this is your chance to tell me what's working and what isn't concerning connect and simnet 
in the past I have shared this feedback with McGraw Hill so let me know how the course is going for you and this feedback form will be open through the end of week four so again let's make sure that we are staying on track we are able to keep up don't leave things for the last minute you want to make sure you give yourself enough time for G metrics all right folks enjoy your weekend and again remember it's a balancing act let's make sure that we are staying on top of things don't forget about my office hours Wednesdays in person 1 30 to 3 30 in my office and Thursdays in the canvas live chat 9 a.m. to noon Pacific time all right take care of yourselves out there we'll talk again soon